वेलकम टू क्विक लिटरेचर एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर लिटरेचर वीडियोस फायर फ्लोमैन इट हैज द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ड्रीम विजन अ कॉमन मेडिवल टाइप इन विच द ऑथर प्रेजेंट्स द स्टोरी अंडर द गाइज ऑफ हैविंग ड्रीम डेट द ड्रीम विजन जनरली इन्वॉल्व एलेगरी नॉट ओनली बिकॉज वन एक्सपेक्ट्स फ्रॉम अ ड्रीम द अनरियलिस्टिक द फैंसीफुल बट ऑल्सो बिकॉज पीपल हैव ऑलवेज सस्पेक्टेड दैट ड्रीम्स रिलेट द ट्रूथ इन दिस गाइज फॉर्म that they are natural allegories passus latin for step is word used for poems basic divisions passus 1 the second selection promises to give some intellectual and moral purchase on the teeming energies of the prologue truth one of langland's key words truth is the justice that flows from god it manifests itself in the exercise of earthly justice and fidelity and in the correlative poetic value of truth telling it would seem that the rest of the poem is devoted to the discovery of that internalized truth the first of the poem's large scale narratives represents the attempt of earthly justice to control the disruptive energies of the profit economy in passus 5 accordingly the seven deadly sins confess in turn before the poem's ideal earthly representative of justice pius plomen offers to lead a spiritual pilgrimage to the shrine of saint truth Holy Church instructs the poem's narrator and dreamer will in the proper relation of material wealth and spiritual health the ideal of truth takes a local habitation then in the model of society that pious establishes for the conduct of his pilgrimage the truest form of pilgrimage is no pilgrimage at all instead all classes of society should stay at home and work harmoniously for the production of material food by agricultural workers with knights helping plowmen and protecting the church while priests pray for both workers and knights this ideal scene is pictured in passus 6 langland's poem might seem thus far to be a deeply conservative one whereby justice is manifest only in a manorial society within which each person knows his or her place and works harmoniously and obediently with the others in passus 7 the limitations of the truth model become dramatically visible a pardon sent from god as truth promises no pardon at all but only retribution for those who fail to meet the standards of god's justice and reward for those who do not fail such a pardon promises nothing but universal damnation in the last selection from the c text langland presents a moving if less passionate and conflicted scene than the tearing of truth's pardon in a passage often regarded as autobiographical will argues with conscience and reason principles of law but also doubtless will's own conscience and reason a large number of manuscripts and two 16th century editions show that pius plomen was avidly read and studied by a great many people from the end of the 14th century to the reign of elizabeth the 1st the passionate sympathy for the commoner idealized in pius plomen also appealed to reformers who felt that true religion was best represented not by the ecclesiastical hierarchy but by the humblest orders of society many persons reading langland's poem in the 16th century it was first printed in 1550 saw in pius plomen a prophecy and forerunner of the english reformation emerged as it is in thorny political and theological controversies of its own day pius plomen is arguably the most difficult and at times even the most frustrating of middle english texts but its poetic intellectual and moral complexity and integrity also make it one of the most rewarding thanks for watching stay tuned for the next part